This would be my first video vlog on YouTube. My third attempt at one though. The other two were basically just me ass-hatting in front of the camera while I desperately tried to think of something to say. Crap. started. Didn't do much today. It was mostly just sitting around, you know. Well, you know, got some sleep in. Got some exercise in. I don't want to wear the kabuki mask. Oh. Had a little fun. And then made breakfast. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, so basically I decided to start doing movie reviews. I have a very special place in my heart for movies. It's just something I like to watch. Something I like to watch, something I like to do. So, I decided to start reviewing them. I noticed a few people already do review movies on YouTube, but, you know, something I know how to do, so I might as well join the crowd. <laughs> I decided that I'm going to review The Descent. Yes, the horror thriller from Britain. What, you, what mostly you've heard in most reviews, that uh, it's pretty scary, pretty intense, and I'd have to say that's true. I mean, you know, I, was, I went to the movie, I was sitting there waiting, I'm shaking. My hands are shaking, you know, I'm waiting for this movie to start, you know, getting scary and everything. Scary parts don't come until, you know, a bit into the movie, but you're still looking at something that's really enjoyable, really fun. Um, I think something that really boosted the intense innocency of the movie was the uh, how claustrophobic it really was. It, the whole thing was based inside a cave. Oh god, I hate when people confuse this movie with the cave, or say the cave was better. It wasn't. The cave was like staring at a blank piece of paper for 90 minutes. Not good, okay? But it was all based in the cave, so it gave off a very intense feeling of claustrophobia, which um, really set the mood, especially when they started to run into the creatures in the end. Now, even though the creatures were scary, they did kind of come off like Golem on crack. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't want to run into Golem on crack anyway. It was good that this was scary. There has been a lot of movies that aren't scary. The Ring 2. The Grudge. Both of which reminded me of the times that I've stuck a piece of deodorant in my mouth. <sighs> of course, people don't really know how to make horror movies that much anymore. I mean, ever since The Exorcist, people tried to top it. People weren't able to top it. And then it just went downhill. And the sound, I think you can really bring it back, and definitely a movie you should go and check out. So I decided to put this on YouTube. I had been using another site. Uh, let's just say it starts with V and ends in itty life. Most of the people on there are whores and leave you with a very not good taste. So, came to YouTube. Popular site, lots of people go to it. Let's try and get a bit of exposure. So I decided to start with this. I already have done some of my own movies, and I will be posting them on there as soon as I can wait for that four month waiting list for the, on the director's account. <sighs> so I was thinking about it earlier. <laughs> A lot of people on YouTube get famous. <laughs> I don't expect to get famous, just a stupid little video vlog that I do. Well, not stupid, I do put hard work into it. And, Oh, I'm going to stop before I dig my six-foot grave any deeper. But like I said, I was thinking, you know, it, w it will be, you know, all the famous exposure stuff. But I guess I'm summing up now. Not much more to say. I'll be doing video blogs almost every day. I'll have another movie review when I go see Pulse this Friday. With the wimpiest guy on the face of the planet. But anyway... 
I guess that's it, and uh, I'll see you next time. Hopefully the King of the Elves will stop by and hand me a fresco. Thank <laughs> you.